this is not any form of sorcery or anything like that. I'll be on record saying that. And so here we go. <clears throat> Thinking back to the past, and I I have on a blindfold and a, um, a do rag from the past that I used to wear a long time ago, and it's helping me reconnect with the memories and to bring back some memories. What do I see? Okay. I saw the eye. Some people call it the Eye of Horus, some call it the Eye of Lucifer, some call it the Eye of Ra, some call it the Eye of God, the Eye of Providence, and I've heard it called many names. And, oh, there it is again. And I saw several other symbols, many of them symbols of masonry, natural symbols and a, a mix of many symbols. And I think my mind is starting to recreate those images, possibly, or some of them, but not quite the one I saw in a hotel room. And believe it or not, I didn't have any sexual intercourse that night. This is interesting, because I remember many things, you know, I look fucking ridiculous, like a fucking idiot, but that's okay, <clears throat> because this is for the sake of my uh, proof, my research, my study, my advancement of my people. You see, I am that guy willing to look like a complete fucking idiot and humble myself and pretend I am not who I am in public and when I go to restaurants and schools, the police stations, etc., etc., places where... People are supposed to humble themselves, and I humble myself right along with the crowd. Because that's what Jesus did. Now, what the right thing to do is not to too explain every symbol that I have seen. For I have already told people who are unworthy too much, and people who are worthy will find their own way. And I believe the signs were shown to me because they're not for everyone. And I always have this feeling that whoever showed me the signs, they didn't want me to explain them. And they are watching. Oh, and I love that was interesting. Basically, I put myself in a kind of meditative state, and a kind of um, altered mind state, and I was, that could cause a disruption to the brain, I believe, because I haven't totally left, but I've come back. Mm, it's kind of like Jay Jamie, but it's a spiritual meditation kind of, uh, I apologize for talking very quiet, uh, I know that yeah, most of my videos sound very loud, and I'm sorry that I offended a lot of people, especially uh, a lot of cocky uh, people, and the scum, I know I'm not sorry for that, and you see I love my parents, and obviously there's no plans to hurt anybody uh, without my say so, my go ahead. Unless I say that is the move, then nobody does that. You understand? Now, yeah. I'm not playing with anybody. Okay? I look like a fucking moron in my time. I've been drunk in public, arguing with my girlfriend in front of a cop, talking about um, crazy sh talking crazy shit. I've been in situations where cops have made my friend think I betrayed him, and then to this day, they still think that, and, and that the fact that my uh, family said, don't go there, and say what they wanted me to say, basically what they wanted me to say wasn't true, 
and he got mad at me for not going in line to for him in the police station when um, my parents and my own family and um, a lot of my friends were saying don't listen to him and it's a lot of these conflicts are what uh, drive people apart is that there's conflicts like that in groups and uh, there's natural conflicts and then there's, there's, there's the government fitting into it to make it worse but that's not what this video is about this video is about the symbols and what they mean and why I chose to reveal them in this this part well believe it or not nobody is ever going to care about my people as much as me and no beautiful woman is never going to fall in love with me you know some of you got the idea oh he's just whining he just wants attention and I started thinking okay why would they say this kind of thing okay they, they, they think I want attention from a beautiful woman of course like oh uh, uh, I don't know what to compare it to but a, a prince like an angel coming out of nowhere you know when I live in the middle of nowhere no no as you can see many of my videos I look like crap and I don't you know I don't go on my way to dress up there was a time where I used to spend thousands of dollars a year just on clothes and looking good and, it was, it was way back when FUBU was in style, like around that time, you know, Tommy Hill figures, way back. And I was spending a lot of money on it, and I tried to look good, and, and I did look good, and a lot of girls liked me, and then when I stopped doing that, a lot less girls liked me, and gradually my deteriorated my, um, my outwardly impression and my appearance to the rest of the world, you know. I learned from very a very young age that great men dress humbly and they don't dress all fancy and I learned that from different Africans and martial art teachers and basically i put it like this the Pharaoh had two snakes you understand me two snakes you understand me and they were side by side I can show you where the ideas come from. But when you think about what a snake is, you see, in the Garden of Eden, there was one snake, right? Well, there's actually many. And the reptiles actually evolved faster than the mammals. And under the sea, I made the claim in comments in past videos that there's a giant dragon under the sea that scientists haven't found yet. And they found big sea monsters and they found this giant crustaceans and octopus. But there is a dragon there and it is partially responsible for how the vamp... Um, how the vampires, excuse me, how the dinosaurs went extinct. So, 1.7 million years ago, when you have Homo erectus, then you have, you know, later people, you have Cro Magnums, Neanderthals, etc. And you had Gabins, and you had different apes, and they say, oh, where's the missing link? There's some things that. There's some things that would scare you. There's some skulls that people have that would scare you. That You see, the collection of skulls and putting them on their head, this was not only done with the type of skulls that you normally see. I'm not a champion of the alien idea. I believe there are aliens, but do I believe that they're like you see in cartoons? Or not? I believe there's alien life, uh, intelligent alien life, possibly. I, I'm a firm believer in alien life, but I'm not a firm believer in alien past alien visitations. I believe there's some kind of spiritual visitations going on, but not alien. As far as alien overlap, the concept of being an alien overlapping with an angel, and yeah, sure, okay. So, you know, I'm not being sarcastic. I mean, yeah, sure, that could be the case. Okay, so, what I'm trying to tell you is, under the sea, excuse me, under the ocean, there is a gigantic hydra dragon. And 
and that's because I wouldn't, I don't know the exact scientific term to call it. And I'm not talking about the Loch Ness Monster that I know of, but there is some kind of relative to a demon under the sea. And, I mean, excuse me, under the ocean. I always sound this, because it's a fucking stupid song from uh, Little Mermaid, you know, um, but under the ocean, you know, the Atlantic, the Pacific, you see? The Indian, you know. Now, anyway, if you understand that, well, I'm out of time, so. But after, I'm going to end the Chukwu Mecca Key, this series, by saying you have to love one each other and you have to let the hate go. Because I hate more than any of you will ever dream of. And I have let it go. Everyone that I've ever been around was in my, excuse me, was at my mercy. And I could have killed them in the blink of an eye. Okay, remember I told you about the snake. Okay. I told you about it. What is the relevance? What is the relevance of the tiger? What is the relevance? What is the relevance of the dragon? And how he likes the little curves. And he likes being a dragon. Oh yeah, he likes the curves. He likes he likes the little leopard sideways. You know, he likes being off off the main fighting line. So what is relevance? Why have I given you some principles that you find in any book, any big store, any martial art bookstore?